Hey, it's Iran here. In this short video, I'm gonna share with you behind the scene what it looks like to use the Kajabi app for your community. Now, I am presently not actively using Kajabi, although I am a customer and I do have different features that I still use, but I do not host a community in Kajabi or anything like that. However, I have a good friend of mine who I've met through a membership and she has taken some time to kindly record an over the shoulder video to walk through what a Kajabi community looks like. And the video was so good that I asked for her permission to share this on my YouTube channel, because I know a lot of you might be wondering about what does a Kajabi app looks like for the community on the back end? What does it look like when they actually log in to the members? Because you might be in a decision process. Should you use Kajabi for community? Should you use something else like Circle? or Mighty Networks or School or any of these platforms. And therefore, I wanted to give you a little bit of a behind the scene of what it looks like on Kajabi. Now, there are different types of community platforms, which I will talk about at the very end as well. But for right now, let's just dive right in and have my friend Courtney actually show you what it looks like in the Kajabi community and you get a real view of what it looks like. And note that Courtney herself is actually a community manager and a community builder. So she's a very uh, good person to actually get this walkthrough from because she's actually managing a Kajabi community herself. So I'll turn it over to her and show you how it looks like. Hi there. I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration of how to log into the community app and the difference between the community app and the Kajabi product app. So right here, you're see, you'll see this is the Kajabi communities app. If I go ahead into it, it's a pretty seamless experience. It'll take me right into my community. And this is right here, the circles that I have access to. Uh, this is the administrator view, by the way, but it's quite similar to the user view. Um, so down at the bottom, I have circles. I have challenges where um, I can participate as a user or I can add new challenges. Uh, the feed is a combination of all of the posts from all of the circles in one place. And up at the top here, these are the, the pin posts. Go to the pin posts. Okay, I can also make that bigger and then pop out and type something and then select the circle that I want to stick it underneath. Okay, up top we have, this is the leaderboard where you can track participants. Then we have the notifications and then your profile, which if it's completed, you'll see like a blue ring all the way around it. Um, to complete it, you come in here and you add your interests and make sure that your social profiles and everything are set to go. Okay, you can play around with your settings here, notifications or editing your profile or logging out of the app. Um, that's been important for folks who have, maybe they manage someone else's account and they're having a hard time getting into that account as an administrator. They will end up having to log out to do that. You see here, they added the send feedback or report above. That's really great. That's new. And the notifications. So you can come in here and you can play around with your own personal notifications for each circle, which is really nice. And then for the challenges, you can do push notifications or email, turn them on or off. Same for the meetups and the announcements. The announcements are one of my favorite things. It's kind of replacing the need for emails. So if you need to make an announcement to your entire community, you create an announcement and it will broadcast it to everybody. Now, the only catch here is that if they have the announcements disabled here, like if they turn this off, they won't get that email notification. But most members, as they first start out, start out don't really understand that they can play with their notifications and turn it off. Okay, then... We have, if we go all the way back. Okay, down here at the bottom, meetups. So you can see up at the top are the recordings from past meetups. And you can see here are the past meetups. You can choose what view you would like to default to. I think now the default is upcoming, so you only see like what's on the horizon. Then we have the collaborate button. So we actually have a landing page that we use. Um, this is a video they can watch. It's an intro video. And then we have some onboarding steps that we take them through. And then a feedback form at the bottom. Um, I've designed these for many people and do different things. And sometimes I point them to different aspects of the courses that they're a part of or coaching, you know, coaching calls, scheduling coaching calls, you know, different features or aspects of the membership. 
membership. Okay, then you'll notice up at the top here, well, I want to show you one more thing. We have this linked also to a resource hub. So if you know, they'll have to hit this wall of logging in. And once they have logged in, and I don't want to take you through doing this right now, but basically there's a course product behind this, um, which if you have a course in Kajabi, I'm assuming that's why you'd be exploring this, then y y all they need to do is log in and then they will be able to seamlessly kind of move between the two. Um, if you're in a product and you want them to have access to the community, you can also embed a community widget in the course, which is really nice. Otherwise, I know in a lot of the courses that I have built, I actually have like a thing at the top that brings them back into the community. Okay. And then if you look at the hamburger up top, this is where we can switch accounts. So if I want to look at a different account, like accounts that I manage, then I come up to my Kajabi account and boom, I'm in one of my communities. And now I can just go ahead and manage it. So you'll see here as the manager, um, there's different I have different privileges, like starting a new challenge. Uh, things look just slightly different. Not, not incredibly different though. Um, yeah. So uh, here, same thing, resources page. I have two different resources, but this is a resource hub and I'm going to hit a login wall. Different example of what that looks like. You can have any landing page here though. Alrighty, now I want to show you how to get in from the other app. So to do that, so this is the community app. You can see at bottom, you know that we're in the community app because there's no like browser uh, bar. Let's go to the other community. So you can see this is this is the other Kajabi app. It looks very, very similar. It just doesn't say communities underneath it. Uh, so this is the other one. And this is that same community I was showing you first, Collaboration Station. And here we have the product, the course product and the community product. So if we go into the community product, it will open up a new page and it will give us the community here. And uh, I've set it up to default to the feed. So that's the first thing they come in on. Uh, but everything's set up similarly. We have the challenges, the meetups, but you'll notice that all of this is embedded within the browser. If you look at the bottom bar with the back arrows, uh, so it will prompt me from time to time to open the app. Um, if I come here, let's see, is it there right now? No, it's not there. Yeah, but sometimes a little blue bar will pop up that says download the app because it would much rather have me in the app on mobile than in the, the Kajabi product app. Alrighty, I believe that's all that I need to show you. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Okay, so hope you got value from this little tour from Courtney. Uh, by the way, show her some love, leave a comment below. And also I will leave her website and social media and all that links if you wanna check her out and follow her. And she's very good on uh, membership and community building if you wanna check her out. So I will leave all the details in the description. And otherwise, if you're still in the search mode of what community platform to use, then definitely let me know uh, if you have any specific tutorials you want to record, maybe a tour in school or in Circle or Mighty Networks. Definitely let me know. I'm happy to do a little tour on that as well. And these are the kind of the main platforms. I will leave links for you below to check them out. And if you want to get a free consult on what's the best community platform for you as well, there's going to be a link for that to get a free consult. That's about it. Thanks all for watching. I'll speak to you soon.